Madeline's driving the van. Ooh, believe me, I'm not going to be forgetting that anytime soon. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go over to down this path. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's read the sign here. So they found the stone slab that could have been the key to the mystery, and then they lost it? <laughs> Figures. That's awesome. <laughs> a stone slab <laughs> called the Dal Bakun Sword was discovered at this spot. This slab allegedly contained encoded messages related to the Ren's enigma, but it has since vanished. Kuhn's sword still draws curious seekers hoping for more clues. So, yeah, it was a. Uh pretty interesting little site to uh, you know visit there so and one of the uh, acronyms that were in it was uh, research into the roots of the legend that's the part of the enigma there that's what the uh, that's basically what it was calling for in that so all right so we're going to go talk to Miss Buthane but first let's look over at the ruins there were buildings here once. There's not a lot of growth going on in this area, is there? <laughs> Even the plants don't like it here. Hello? <laughs> You're talking to my plant. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, my plant was talking to me. and <laughs> So now we're going to look over at Madeline's bag. Now what is she up to? And when I approach, she puts her device away and just starts casually smoking her cigarette so we're gonna look at her she's just hanging out isn't she no <laughs> Ooh, if i thought about her for too long i'd be walking funny <laughs> Whoa. now let's talk to her <laughs> she throws a cigarette away fancy meeting a girl like you in a place like this <laughs> Oh, hello, Monsieur Knight. That sin, are we? I am refreshing my memory for tomorrow. Tomorrow? You mean for that tour thing? So what's so special about this place? Mm, nothing. And anyway, you are not taking the tour, so why do you care? You got a point there. <laughs> Try talking to her again. I don't think she's in the mood for company. She magically got another cigarette out. The French just have a knack for doing that. <laughs> so I'm going to take... Uh, I'm arming, my, arming myself. There you go with the binoculars. And you'll see why. Okay, so we're going to go ahead over to uh, Chateau Blanchefort. They make a very nice weapon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... Let's see... Black rock. There's a big black outcropping up there. <laughs> and you can see a white rock. It's a large white rock. Rock blanc and rock negre. So there you go. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're going to walk up Blanchefort. We'll visit rock negre later. So we're going to loop around here. We're going to hike on up. And these are the windows of the ruined home. So... It's a diagram of the chateau that used to be here. Home of the Blanchefort family, possibly including, including Bertrand de Blanchefort, the sixth grand master of the Knights Templar, this chateau was under Templar possession from 1132 until at least 1180. Nice, it's a nice hike too. It was uh, a little chilly up at the top, but very nice hike. So now you have a lookout for Mount Cardu and everything, but what we're going to do is we're going to take a look through the Binox. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so you use the arrow keys to move them around, and when you highlight something of interest, you can press zoom times 50. So there's a big red rock all across the road there, nothing interesting. And then, da -da -da -da, there we go. Now we're zooming in at Coombe's sword. We're watching Madeline. 
This is so stalkery. <laughs> I was watching her. Congratulations, you earned the stalker award for this game. <laughs> achievement. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And we exit. So it gave us some points for stalking her. <laughs> All right. So we are going to do now. You can either go see Larry Chester first, or you can go to Kawiza Station. We're going to go to Kawiza Station and do that first, and then after that should uh, end the time block there. We must go find the train. <laughs> Well, uh, after we're done with ending the time block, we'll uh, talk about some uh, possibilities for the uh, future and whatnot, but uh, I've got an idea, and uh, I think uh, you guys might like it, and I think Pikachu might like it, but let's go to Kuiza Station first. So, is a tiny little town that's just near uh, Montezelos, and uh, so you got little houses around here. You got a uh, taxi cab with a dude hanging out. So we're going to take a look at a couple things out here. Telephone pole. How progressive telephone poles. <laughs> For this area. Look at the buildings. I'm not sure what all these buildings are, but I don't think they're connected to the station. Knock on the door. I doubt there's anybody in there that can help with the case. Oh, yeah. <laughs> look at the taxi. Wow, classic chassis. <laughs> Use the taxi? The owner wouldn't like it. Besides, I prefer the back. It's pretty. It's nice and Look at the rustic cans, or barrels. The French really enjoy their barrels, don't they? <laughs> Cheap seating and storage facilities in one. <laughs> the platform? I vaguely remember this platform from my arrival. I was pretty out of it train track proof that the great iron way really does go everywhere <laughs> <laughs> and look at the building oops the great and magnificent kuiza train station that's kind of a wreck <laughs> <laughs> all right so we see the taxi driver he's bald, bald and smoking a cigar and wearing a gruddy shirt i wonder if that guy runs the taxi service he might have been around last night. So let's chit chat. Mm -hmm. Hi there. Oh, it's you. Haha. <laughs> you are feeling better, I hope. That was a nasty bump you had on the head last night. Sure. Um, you took me over to Ren Le Chateau, right? Yes. Uh, you must remember the car. You said it had a smell like the uh, garlic. <laughs> Uh, probably my dog, Fifi. He loves to eat the garlic, and then he... <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for jogging my memory. Oh, it's my pleasure, monsieur. <laughs> so we're going to... I'm laughing at this guy's <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it, it really is. These are one of those corny accents. So we're going to talk about the two men with the trunk. You were here last night. Did you see two men with a trunk come out of that station just before I did? Yes, but they didn't need a ride from me. No, what they do? They drove off, monsieur. Yes, but how? Did they have a car parked here? No. Well, no. yes, I <laughs> guess it was parked uh, at the time. Ask again. At the, ta the time. <laughs> Could you tell me exactly what you saw? Two men with a trunk came out of the train station and... Mm, I'm having a hard time remembering. <laughs> no one believes you. <laughs> so now we're going to talk again, but here's the catch. I get the feeling he's holding out on me. He must want something. So we're going to use our wallet on him. I bet he knows something. I get the feeling he's holding out. Oh, whoops. Stare at him again. It's the guy who drove me to Rendler Chateau. I don't remember any of it. Alright, let's use the wallet on him now. Pulling out some francs. He picks up and looks at it. <laughs> My memory needs more help than that, monsieur. And Gabe's like, holy shit. 
Yeah. Great. That will be on your undoing. Poor taxi driver. <laughs> Très bien. Très bien. <laughs> no, I think. Here we go. There was waiting a car, monsieur. Maybe for an hour. Then the two men came out, they get in the car, and voila. What kind of car? Very nice, very fine. It does not smell like the garlic, this car. What was the make? It was a sedan. As to the make, uh, <laughs> my eyes are not so good. <laughs> you want more money? <laughs> no, monsieur. My eyes are really not so good. Oh. Why are you driving a <laughs> well, car? Well, what about color? Black, very black, this car. And the driver? Um, not old, well dressed. Oh, and the trunk. Like it was the Queen's China they handled that trunk. Into the back seat it went, not even in the boot. Hmm. The One boot. more thing. <laughs> Which way did they go? The same way I took you, monsieur. Toward Rennes de Chateau. Game option, uh, can you put the pistol option back on there, please? <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't helpful as but as useful as the tits on a mule. <laughs> All right, so let's go inside the train station, but let's look at a barrel first. The French really enjoy their barrels. No, oh, it's a wood barrel, but he says the same thing. Okay, listen. <laughs> Pretty good song. So you can. Uh -huh. Look at the chair. At least you can stretch out while you're waiting. Let's sit. Not right now, thanks. Again, <laughs> ashtray. Ashtrays are to the French what car seats are to Americans. <laughs> well said. <laughs> Here's another uh, Easter egg over here. You find a letter in the. Uh... There's a piece of paper in the sand. Yeah. So let's pick it up. Why are you poking around in ashtray sand? <laughs> oh, uh <-huh>. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we can go over to little Marcy here and look at her. She's a redhead with cute freckles and she's smiling her nails. There's a girl in the ticket booth. That's helpful. There's a... Oops, excuse me, file cabinet. There we go. That's where they sell tickets. And let's talk to Marcy. Hello there, mademoiselle. Bonjour. Where is it you wish to go? I'm already there. <laughs> I want to ask you a few questions. Uh, oui. All right. So I ask about the Naples train? Do you have a record of a man getting off the Naples train last night? There was no train from Naples last night, monsieur. We have very limited service. Is that so? What trains did come in? We have a set schedule, monsieur. The trains are listed on the board. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So then he asks about other arrivals. What other trains had passengers disembarked last night? Taking a look. Uh, a moment. There was one passenger from Rome, none from Madrid, two from Nice earlier in the day. Great, mm -hmm. thanks. And the two men with the trunk? The two men with the trunk come in from Paris yesterday evening? We had three arrivals last night from Paris, but uh, <sighs> I have no idea who they were. Do you know where they went? Me <laughs> no. We only keep a record of the number who arrive, and only that because there is some talk of cutting service to Guiza. We have few visitors, and most of them come by auto. Interesting. Let's go in the door. <laughs> to the ticket booth. I don't think the help would appreciate that. <laughs> so now we're going to look at the board. It's a list of arrivals and departures. So here's the arrivals. It's a list of arrivals. Yesterday was Wednesday, so the only trains that came in were from Nice, Paris, Madrid, and Rome. There is no Naples route. In other words, Buccelli is lying. Either he didn't take the train at all, or he didn't take the one he says he took. 
so rude. <laughs> so now we can look over at the departures. Those are the trains you can catch from here. Daily, Paris and Bordeaux, Tuesday and Thursday, Rome and Madrid. Not a lot of options if you want to leave Coiza. <laughs> the departures won't help me much. My gut instinct tells me the baby's still in the area. So you can try and leave to the platform. Uh, that way leads to the trains. I'm not taking one that I know of. Pokemon. <laughs> oh, and that's it for the station. So let's exit the block. All right, and that's the two for the four blocks. So pretty short today again. Okay. So, Art of 76 is coming over tomorrow, so I was possibly thinking of having him join us for the four to six blocks if you were down. Doing an extra one? Yeah. Sure, why not? Okay. So, we might record another one uh, that'll be uploaded on Sunday morning since it takes a while to compile and whatnot, so I figured we might as well do that because Pikachu's going to be heading back home on Monday. Yeah, and, yeah, uh sure. Yeah, we'll have a uh, grand old time. <laughs> so, yeah, it was a really fun block. We uh, started getting into a few meat and potatoes after the horrific puzzle. Yeah. Interesting, mm -hmm. Bukele did not take a Naples train, no. but a train came in from other places that were mentioned, so I wonder if people might start putting some theories together. Mm -hmm. So the four to six block is going to be uh, cruising around some more, and then we're going to talk to Larry Chester, his He's got a great theme, and he's a very knowledgeable fella. All right, so that's it for tonight's stream. I'm Gray Fox 37, and Pikachu 23, and we'll see you tomorrow.